Hi, this is Dr. Monica Cisneros, doctor of chiropractic and functional medicine doctor. We will be discussing this article that was published all over the news. It is about vitamin D and COVID-19. But I want to go farther with this. I want to explain why we have to go beyond vitamin D. It is all about the balance. Please watch and subscribe for more information. He says, while vitamin D doesn't prevent COVID-19, it may help enhance the immune system. Prevent the immune system from overreacting to the virus, causing damage, organ damage, including lung damage, because of the overreaction, what is called cytokine. It is, the sun is important of to understand this is not new science. Winter, Our bodies more time do not change. Yes, are into knowledge the changes, D greater D understanding, but study shows let's north of the talk about the full picture, a study finds not about temperature are one not piece with the spread of, the virus. of the puzzle, Dr. Bachman but the whole puzzle. Talk to their if a patient is vitamin D deficient, there are all the benefits to fix this problem. He cautions against taking high doses of vitamin D. I cannot emphasize enough the importance to talk to your doctor, obtain your lab results, and get the whole picture. Please keep watching for more information. Vitamin D deficiency are more likely to experience serious complications of COVID-19 and higher death rates. Several groups we have identified which have high risk of mortality from COVID-19, such as African-Americans or the elderly. Most of them do have uh, very low levels of vitamin D. There is more than vitamin D deficiencies. If a patient is vitamin D deficient, there are all the benefits to fix this problem. He cautions against taking high doses of vitamin D which can have negative side effects. This is Dr. Monica. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Let's talk about the science behind vitamin D. Let's talk about vitamin D and calcium. Hi, this is Dr. Monica Cisneros, and let's talk about this article that showed up in a lot of uh, different news outlets today. And it says vitamin D deficiency may be linked to COVID-19 mortality how a common vitamin could become pivotal. And my discussion today is going to be what I normally will discuss with a patient and I have been discussing for years, okay? This situation with vitamin D is, has to do all with a balance, okay? Cannot be too little, cannot be too much. It is a perfect balance. But thinking that vitamin D acts on its own it's a mistake because you have to understand how vitamin D gets absorbed into the body. And if you realize milk is fortified with vitamin D, why? Because calcium allows vitamin D to be transported into the body, especially for bone health, okay? So in this article that I give to my patients, this handout, we are talking about that vitamin D is found nearly in every cell in our body, and vitamin D has a potent role influencing your immune system, blood pressure regulation, insulin secretion, and more. So obviously when we're talking about COVID-19, we know that patients that have hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular problems are more prone to have complications from COVID-19, okay? But if you see this, it makes sense why low vitamin D would affect that, okay? So we're talking about vitamin D3 is found in fish, egg yolks, cheese, and synthesized in skin of humans and animals. D2 is synthesized by plants, um, portobello mushrooms, and fortified milk or orange juice. Okay, so there's a difference between D3 and D2. We're saying that we recommend sun exposure, five to 30 minutes of exposure 
of 30% of body three times a week between 10 and 3. So that is the optimal time to absorb vitamin D when there's sun out there, okay, and the weather is better, okay? So here we're talking about a little bit more complex um, data of how things get processed, okay? So we're talking about the skin, it becomes uh, converted into calciferol, it goes into the liver, and it goes into the kidneys. Obviously, if a person has an issue with liver, either damage, too much drinking, or just a toxic liver, fatty liver, well, we're gonna have an issue converting into the right form of uh, vitamin D. The optimal ranges is 50 to 80. In my opinion, is um, 80 the magic number. The um, daily recommendation is 600 I use. It's not enough, okay? It's really not enough, especially for someone that has deficiencies. Here we're gonna talk about vitamin D and calcium. They exist in a delicate balance, okay? Vitamin D and, and vitamin K exist in a delicate balance. Vitamin D and magnesium also exist in a delicate balance, okay? Vitamin D and vitamin A are brothers, okay? Both are fat-soluble vitamins, okay? So here, it's important to understand that when we do laboratory testing, we're able to see where vitamin D is, where calcium is, magnesium is, where vitamin K is, where vitamin A is, and therefore we're allowed, we are able to prescribe the right form of vitamin D and what other things might be needed. Let's talk about vitamin D and vitamin K. Now let's talk about vitamin D and vitamin K. Vitamin K plays a crucial role in the body's blood clotting pathway because vitamin K allows calcium to perform clotting functions. If vitamin K is low, then body cannot use calcium and cannot clot. Vitamin K also helps form and maintain our bones and teeth. Vitamin K also activates a specific protein called osteocalcin to help body use calcium and deposit it where it belongs. Potent calcium vitamin K connection that allows proper calcium utilization. Low vitamin K results in atherosclerosis and patients with high vitamin K have less calcifications in their arteries. So therefore, if you take too much vitamin D without vitamin K, you start creating an imbalance. And obviously clotting is very crucial for in case that you get a cut or in case of um, a hemorrhage, or sometimes we can have an issue with blood clots in our body or hemorrhages, even in our brain. So this perfect balance is very, very important. Let's talk about vitamin D and magnesium. Let's talk about vitamin D and magnesium. Magnesium is involved in over 300 different processes in the body, including making ATP, which is energy, and also in vitamin D metabolism and production, and especially modulates the sensitivity of our tissue to vitamin D. Magnesium also crucial for calcium balance. Magnesium deficiency is due to decreased magnesium in the soil, and 50% of the population is magnesium deficiency. Supplementing with high vitamin D causes even greater magnesium deficiency. Recent studies show that magnesium supplementation along with vitamin D is more effective at correcting vitamin D deficiency simply by increasing magnesium and decreased mortality related to vitamin D deficiency without extra vitamin D supplementation. However, calcium and magnesium have opposite effects. Calcium allows muscle contraction and promotes platelet activation and clotting. And magnesium promotes muscle relaxation and inhibits platelet activation and clotting. So a lot of people hear that taking magnesium allows you to lose weight, 
okay? But as you see, you overtake magnesium, you're depleting vitamin D, you're uh, uh, depleting calcium, so it is a, a balance, definitely a balance. And a lot of patients that have issues with not being able to sleep or, or constipation, it is due to magnesium deficiency, okay? But the key here is get tested. Let's not play guessing games. Last night, just supplement without medical indication, okay? And there's a lot of different forms of magnesium, magnesium citrate, magnesium glycinate. So I will be able to help you determine which is the magnesium that you need. But first, let's get tested, okay? Let's talk about vitamin D and vitamin A. Let's talk about vitamin D and vitamin A. One point that I want to make about the role of vitamin D and magnesium is, again, what we're talking about is all about our balance. Too much calcium with magnesium deficiency can cause calcium deposits in the arteries. What, what is that? It is stiffening of the arteries, okay? But bumping magnesium can prevent calcification of the arteries. So it is that perfect balance. Let's talk about vitamin D and vitamin A. Vitamin A is associated with growth, development, reproduction, immune system, eyesight, skin health, and gene expression. Vitamin A can prevent vitamin D toxicity. Deficiency in vitamin A can result in adverse effects of vitamin D. Recent studies suggest that increased vitamin A can reduce calcium buildup and protect against pathological calcification effects of too much vitamin D supplementation. So we go back again when a patient is prescribed a capsule of 50,000 IUs once a week and you are not receiving any of these vitamins at the same balance, what are you doing? You're creating an imbalance. Yes, you're going to have vitamin D increased in the serum. And yes, we doctors are going to feel comfortable that we're seeing the number come up. But what we're not seeing is everything else that is going out of balance. So that's why laboratory testing is honestly the best route for no guessing games. A study confirms vitamin D protects against colds and flu. So great idea to get tested and have that perfect balance. So this is another article that, that says that the study confirms that vitamin D protects against colds and flus. Okay. And this was published in 2017. Okay. But again, it is all about a balance, a balance, balance, balance is very, very, very important. Do not take supplementation without laboratory testing, having an examination, going throughout the history. History is very important. But remember, blood tells us there's no guessing game. So this is Dr. Monica Cisneros, functional medicine specialist, and I'm here to help you. Thank you. Overview of your immune capacity, all your vitamins, amino acids, antioxidants we can do more to protect you let me help you you can make an appointment or we can do a virtual consultation i am here to help you